So, a long time ago, years ago, when I did my people stream still, and I, I had free time, um, I did a stream about June, Shoe on Head. Shoe on Head made an entire career trying to look like Boxy and also sucking up to men. She is what's called not like other girls or uh, a pygmy. Either works. And not like other girl in the local, the female local sphere is a woman who specifically tries to appeal to men by um, wanting to involve herself in what is typically thought of as like a male thing. So either like video games or sports or like alcoholism or pornography. Like, yeah, I jerk off and drink beer while jerking off and watching the big game. And also I play video games and I, I will be your support. That's like a pick me or not like other girls. I think they're both like the same thing. Um, but basically her whole shtick as like a YouTube commentator was just that women are so dumb. And therefore, because I recognize this, I am the best girl and you should give me Patreon money. And many people did, and she made a very successful career off of this and did not do anything with it. She still, despite her income, despite her wealth, she still lives at home. She has not progressed into a family stage. She has no reason to stay at home. She just chooses to because she doesn't want to be independent, which is very sad. And I would hope that anybody else, anybody who found um, financial stability would have the audacity to leave their parents' house at some point in time. But despite making her entire career as a pick-me, as saying to men, look, I know I'm a dumb hole and I have no purpose other than to be bred like a war trophy by a hot conservative male, even though I am a teensy little bean, small bean, fem feminist, liberal, ooh woo. Um, now she is 30. She's 30 now. She's 30 in case you're wondering. She might be 31 even. I don't know. She's old. <laughs> I shouldn't say that I'm 30. Um... But she is starting to realize that her pick me behavior is becoming less effective over time. And perhaps even that it's not in her best interest to promote such thoughts. So a new younger model, the pick me 9,000 2023 edition has rolled off the, the, the parking lot into the highway and June finds herself threatened by someone doing the exact same shit that she's been doing her entire fucking life. H. Pearl Davis says, no women don't deserve, or sorry, this is written by a retard, so it's kind of hard to read. No, women don't deserve child support when they divorce their husband. Shu responds by saying, the child support is not for the woman, it's for the child. They should not be punished because of their parents' problems. Pearl Davis then also says, high IQ women have always been able to participate and make contributions to society. But as a whole, society would run, run fine without us. The exception does not make the rule. She replies saying, this is such a bizarre and pointless arc you're on. Boys are better than girls. Second grade ass shit. Women don't have to be the same as men to contribute to society. We compliment each other in our differences. Very anti-June take from June because she realized, oh, did I sound like this? Did, she had an epiphany. Do I, do I sound this retarded? This uh, Davis person, by the way, shows up on wonderful uh, pro podcast programs like The Kill Stream. They talk about how she's a dumb hole and how women are so much worse than men. And uh, Ralph, of course, loves this because he's a pig monster. And for whatever reason, she's getting a little following going. 26. This is her, by the way. She's really creepy looking. I don't know what it is. I try to... When I make fun of somebody, I try not to be like, look at their appearance. Aren't they ugly? I mean, some, I try to be more creative than that. Like, yes, it's funny that the Chud guy is ugly, but it's funnier because he looks just like the Chud and he's like a murderer. Um, this woman is kind of frightening looking. I don't know how to describe it, though. 26-year-old YouTuber, uh, 1.4 million on YouTube. They banned me on TikTok. Just pearly things. So 1.4 million, that's pretty fucking impressive. And she shows up on, like, the Andrew Tate podcast and stuff. Oh, she's like a big Tate... Uh, fan and she has a lot of fans who like Tate who want to get um want to get a girlfriend I guess and I think that she's desperate enough for them so here is the um no this is her channel I pulled this up too 1.5 million subscribers 8,000 videos holy shit holy shit she puts out like 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. She puts out like eleven videos at a time. What the fuck is she doing? Does she just go on a podcast and then clip it to five five minute long? Oh, here's what she does. She puts out a, a full episode and then she clips it down eight times or ten times, eleven times. And that's her content. Now she has eight thousand videos doing this. So she said I don't know. I really care about Lauren's relationship re replying to Lauren Southern. I think it's unfortunate when women get to air out their side of family drama where the husband with no online presence is just supposed to take it. I don't think as media personalities, it's required. We share our dirty laundry. I truly hope that he consented to her leaving the country with their child and has no will ill will about that. Tree of logic. Then a proud black quang reply is saying, Remember that Jess Pearly things revealed online that she had dated a homeless guy she found on TikTok who has two kids. She moved him into her parents' mansion where she fed him, clothed him, and fucked him. Once he got on his feet, he dumped Pearl for a cute redhead. <laughs> so <laughs> this is your this is your totally based and red pilled um uh, girl who's promoting Andrew Tate and the woman's real place as the footstool of mankind. And I find it hilarious. Look, okay, I don't want to say that he upgraded, but I mean, I, I will. Okay, I don't want to say that he upgraded. I will. I will phrase it like this in a way that I think makes my point clear and concise without any sexism. He opted to be with a less British looking woman. I think that's fair to say. I think we can all get behind that statement. And I will leave it like that.